Hey Leo, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for September 2018. Make sure you click in the description box down below. Check out the new Stormy Grace merch that was created in collaboration with my friends at Bad Manners. You can check them out as well. So if you need t-shirts, stuff like that custom made, they are your, your folks. So check them out, okay? All right, this month, Leo, full systems on board, online, we're moving forward. You have absolutely put in some work this year and this last solar eclipse that happened on August 11th I really feel like has put you in a position where you are just ready to, to take a little bit of a launch. Then we look at the fact that the personal planets are also moving forward. September is a move forward month. I really feel like there's a lot of action and abundance that you can be taking advantage this month to move some things forward. So let's jump in right away and talk about this, okay? On the fifth of the month, we've got Mercury moving into the sign of Virgo joining the sun. This is a delicious energy because Mercury tells me where your mind's at, what you're thinking about, what you're talking about, right? Where you you have the gift of gab here just a little bit to help you out the sun says i want to be seen i'm light heat life and vitality and i want to be seen and it's your ruling energy right you know how to be the sun but these energies are working together here in your second house so i can tell you if you have been spending your retrograde developing something developing a business developing a product developing a new financial plan looking at taking a new position starting your own company whatever it is that allows you to use your talents put something out there and then get income back from it get some value back from it this is a delicious energy for you to be getting ready to move that forward now on the ninth we have got that new moon happening in virgo as well so dually lighting up this second house place so what this means is that the, the new moon says that we need to plant these seeds of intention to start something new, right? We need to begin it. We need to get ourselves out there. We need to do what we need to do to have this abundant, healthy boost to our income. And that's exactly what you've got the energy for here. Now, at the same time on the ninth, we've got Venus, our beauty and money and diplomacy and harmony and sensuality planet and benefic planet, a little benefic planet, moving into Scorpio, joining our big benefic planet planet Jupiter. Now this is going to light up your fourth house. So this is super beneficial. Now one of the things I think of in tandem with this second house stuff that you've got going on, because Venus and Jupiter are lighting up your fourth house and helping you to expand and beautify your fourth house, you know, maybe you're starting to work from home. Maybe you decided to launch that, that new company. Maybe you have new clients coming in and you're doing something out of your house. There's really a lot of energy around the home when we're looking at the fourth house. So this could even be um maybe you want to buy or you want to sell a property you want to rent an office you want to whatever it is the home zone this venus and jupiter energy gives you a lot of good blessings for anything that really has to do with home real estate family um, and your internal foundation so um and i know that for me when i started stormy grace when i really got to see myself in action i could understand the value of it and my esteem changed as well so that could definitely be something you're experiencing now i want to back up for one quick second because on the sixth we've got Saturn, our granddaddy of energies, right? Our heaviest energy that we have moving into the sign of Capricorn. And it's not moving into, excuse me, coming direct in the sign of Capricorn. He has been retrograde for five months. So hopefully in the work zone, you have really been looking at where you can take yourself to the next level in your health zone, in your daily routine, in your service life. You've been looking at those things because as Saturn comes direct here in your sixth house, You've got an opportunity to, if you're a freelancer, go get some jobs. If you already have a job, make peace with your coworkers, get a new job, start a new project. If you are an employer, hiring, firing, right? You've got an opportunity here to adjust your health, your mental health and wellness, and also to take a good look at your diet. Whatever is going to put you in a position where you're going to achieve more and move yourself forward in with what is in alignment with your life, this is where Saturn's energy is going to help you. He's also coming direct into a place of a grand trine. So really a lot of support moving forward. On the 11th, we've got Mars moving out of Capricorn into the sign of Aquarius, fully direct now. So it's moving over there into your seventh house space. Now relationships, now new relationships. If you're trying to start something, if you're trying to um, advance yourself in some way, it's people who are going to help the dream happen, right? You need to have these relationships on board. Not to mention, I just have to tell you, Leos, like I love you guys so much, but I do feel like over the summer, your relationship 
relationship zone maybe got hit a little bit. Maybe you were not sure of which relationships belonged in your life. Maybe even romantically that looked a little bit crazy or you were maybe bringing something to an ending in your life. So I think that this Mars moving forward gives you the assertion and the initiation to bring action to whatever needs to happen in your relationships, which is not just romantic relationships, but it also includes business relationships and the relationship of you with you. You've got to figure out who you are so you can move your stuff forward and go take advantage of your genuine value. Now, one day that I do want to have you keep in mind is somewhere between actually two days, the 17th, 18th, what we're going to have is Mars and a square to Uranus. Mars square Uranus is a warring energy. This is a conflict energy, right? Your job is going to be to respond to whatever conflict comes up in a way that is inventive, creative, innovative, and different, right? not to have a full freak out, right? So Mars is gonna be over here in your seventh house and then we've got Uranus up here in your 10th house. So this could be an energy that you also experience a little bit of conflict in a relationship at work. Something around work could definitely be coming up. A relationship that puts your reputation in question could come up. If you react like a maniac, you're going to miss the opportunity to use this new energy to do something different. Now, the other part that I think about that this is actually towards the good is that, Leo, if you've been trying to break out, break free, make a decision to go in a different direction that is right for you, and maybe there's been some input from people who are like, no, you don't do it, take the safe route, and whatever it is, if it's not the route that you've been wanting, I feel like you could be rebelling here. You can rebel, you can break free, you can go your own way, without having to burn down the village, okay? Keep that in mind. Change is super okay. Extreme change is super okay if that's what it's time for, but you don't have to do harm. Now on the 22nd, we have got, um, we're moving into a new season. We've got the autumn equinox. Beautiful, beautiful. We get to change season. Here you are having this little old solar eclipse, you know, getting you ready, reigniting things in you and in your life and who you get to be over the next six months. And then we come into a new season. You get to say it with your chest high, your head high, like beautiful energy. On the 24th, we're going to have a full moon in the sign of Aries. This is going to light up your ninth house. So this this could be you broadcasting. You're finally getting that something out there. Maybe you've decided to start a YouTube channel, start a business, um, you're doing a, a radio show, TV show, because the ninth house is about publishing, broadcasting um, things long distance, right? Long distance travel, higher education, faith, philosophy. Mostly what it's about is your expansion out into the world. So are you taking something this month and you're getting ready to launch it out? Are you seeing those new clients? Do you have that new product coming out into the world? What are you expanding? Where are you expanding? Because this energy is going to help you. It's going to tell you at the full moon that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. It has a heavy Saturn energy, which will, will help to ground and mature you in what you're trying to put out there. Now, for some of you, the other thing I was just thinking of that just came to me is you could be also finish, finishing educational projects or broadcasting projects or publishing projects as well. Um, a couple of you, I don't know that this directly relates too much to legal things, but if you do have those things, they could be coming to an end as well. And on the 30th, Pluto is coming direct also over there in Capricorn. So in your sixth house, you have changed. Okay. Pluto has given you the last five months along with Saturn to mature, to see where you're going next. And as he comes direct, he says, all right, Leo, thank you very much for your cooperation. The old you needs to die off now, and I need the new one to grab the wheel. Even if you don't fully know who that new person is, it is time to let them drive. So what a sexy month for you to get to move some things forward, see some projects, see some value, see some finances come into view in a way that maybe you haven't or you didn't think were going to work out. So I love this month for you. Like this, uh, like this movie. Please, like I'm new here, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to helping you out through the month. If you need a reading, let me know. Come visit me at stormygrace.com, and if not, just thanks for spending some time with me this month, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you next month. Bye!